Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be seeing which cold press juicer under $100 is going to perform better. All right, so the two cold press juicers that we're looking at today is this AMZ Chef cold press juicer, which is really popular on Amazon. And then over here I have this Dash juicer, which is actually a vertical juicer. You can tell it takes up a lot smaller space, which is really nice. And I have used both of these and I like them both for different reasons, but I've never used them at the exact same time. So I was really curious to know how they perform against each other. Just for reference, both of these are on Amazon for under $100, which is a great price for a value cold press juicer. So the way that I'm going to put both of these against each other is I have equal amount of fruits and vegetables. You can see I already have them chopped up right here. I have two carrots four celery stalks and one apple each, and I tried to pick very close to the same size fruits and vegetables. So the things that I'm going to be looking at is number one, how much juice does it yield? That's the most important. Number two, how dry or wet the pulp is. And number three, how they handle these different fruits and vegetables. Carrots specifically are very hard, and if a juicer can't handle hard vegetables or fruits, then it's not gonna be able to handle these carrots very well. So. That's what we're gonna see. So just for reference, I'm gonna really quickly go over each of these juicers. Um, this is, uh, you can see right here, is this a basic juicer, but it is vertical, which makes it a little bit different. And you can see right here, we have the auger, which is gonna be an all cold press juicer, so it is right there. As you can see, it's very simple to put together. It doesn't take up a lot of room, but obviously the motor is smaller, and right here, I haven't actually looked at the size of these. So obviously you can see the pusher on this dash juicer is a little bit smaller. So that means that um, you have to cut your fruits and vegetables a little bit smaller um, when you're prepping them. So then we're gonna look over here at the AMZ Chef cold press juicer. Obviously it has a larger motor, which means it's going to be um, a stronger motor. All right, so then let's look at the auger on this one. So you can see it has a lot larger auger. So. Um, yeah, I'm really curious to see if that's gonna make a big difference. And just for reference, you can see that this Dash juicer is obviously a lot smaller and it weighs a lot less. This one, I don't think, oh, I can lift it with one hand, but it is pretty heavy. All right, so I think we're just gonna get started. Let's turn both of them on and compare the noise level, first of all. So let's turn AMZ Chef. All right, and let's turn on the Dash. So dash is a little bit louder, just for reference. If either of these are gonna have a problem, it's going to be with the carrot, so we'll start with that. no problem, it's just feeding them through there. Um, let me feed this one through here. I can tell the motor is working harder on this one, but it has no problem taking the carrots. So first of all, I'm just going to look at the pulp just after I've only done the carrots right now. So let's look at the pulp from the AMZ Chef juicer. You can see there is a little bit of dampness. It is making my fingers a little bit wet, so um, that's right there. It looks pretty good though. It's not dripping wet, which is great. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of this pulp from this dash juicer. I would say it's about similar, really. I would say they're similar. All right, we're gonna go on to the apples.
again, it does not have a problem taking these apples, the AMZ Chef, and now we're gonna try the Dash. I don't know if you can see right up here when I put these in here. I barely need to push it down. It pretty much just feeds it in itself. So I'm just looking at the pulp of both of these two and I will say again they are pretty comparable. They're a little bit wet to the touch but they're not dripping wet. They don't have a lot of juice left on my fingers or anything. So pulp is comparable. I feel like this dash juicer did have a little bit of an issue with the carrots. It did work and it did feed them through just fine but I could tell the motor was working extra hard. I felt no issue with the apples from either of these um, so I'm happy about that. So I'm going to move on to the celery. There's no issue. This one I kind of have to push it down. All right, so it appears that the celery kind of clogged up this area. You can see um, as I'm pulling it out. I don't know if you can see this very well. I can't really pull out this celery which really didn't make a problem as far as juicing the celery but I would imagine if you were doing a whole bunch of celery juice that might be a little bit of an issue as well as when you're cleaning it um, might be a little bit harder to clean that part out um, and then you can see here I'm um, pulling this extra pulp out there's no issue there's nothing looks clogged everything looks great all right so let's go ahead and look at the pulp of the celery for both of these I'm just gonna set them both out here all right, so I feel like the AMZ Chef pulp might be a little bit wetter. I feel like if I squeeze it, I get a couple of drops out there. And then let's see if I squeeze this one. I feel like I got less liquid out, but I did get a couple of drops out of that. Okay, so overall, I feel like as far as the pulp goes, the pulp of the celery did seem a little bit drier in the dash. I'm not sure if it's because the celery got a little bit stuck right here, so maybe it was pushing out less pulp, I'm not sure. But we're gonna go ahead and test the yield and I feel like that is the most important part of a juicer. You're gonna want a juicer that's going to extract the most juice. So I'm gonna get two of the same cups and let's see what we have. All right, so this is the juice right here from both of these. I'm going to go ahead and pour them in. Okay, as you can see, I'm very surprised. They are very, very similar. Obviously the Dash juicer, it looks like it made a little bit more juice. And I feel like the AMZ Chef might have a little bit more foam on top, but I, I don't feel like it's enough extra to make any bit of a difference. So with cold press juicers, you don't really have to worry about the juice oxidizing because it didn't heat up the juice at all. So it is going to hold its nutrients for about three days if you put it in the fridge. All right, as you can see, they are a little bit different color. I feel like this definitely has more of a green from the celery and this has more of an orange from the carrot. So I'm not really sure why that is, but I'm gonna go ahead and try these. Mm, that's really good. That's smooth. I don't feel any particles or anything in there. That is also smooth. Interesting, I actually taste more of the celery in this one. I don't know if that had something to do with um, the celery pulp was more dry from the dash juicer, so maybe it did extract a little bit more of the celery juice. Overall, these both taste really good and the texture is good. I don't have a lot of large floating particles in here, which is a really good sign. All right, so let's talk pros and cons. I'm gonna say pros for the dash cold press juicer is that it takes up a really small footprint, which is a huge 
Plus, especially if you have a smaller kitchen or you don't have a lot of cupboard space, I feel like the motor was strong enough to do what I needed it to do, which was juice those fruits and vegetables enough for a glass of juice. The cons for this Dash cold press juicer is that it has to work a little bit harder on those hard fruits and vegetables like the carrots, and it is going to be harder to clean. I can already tell just because of how this celery is stuck in here. All right, so let's move on to the AMZ Chef cold press juicer. The pros for this is that it's going to be easier to clean just because there aren't particulates stuck in here anywhere. Uh, another pro is that it handled all of the fruits and vegetables that I threw at it very well. It didn't have a hard time with any of those. Cons, the pulp was a little bit more wet, which means it's not extracting maybe as much juice. And as we saw in the end, it didn't make quite as much juice as the dash juicer. Another con is that it is larger. So if you don't have as much space, that is something you have to consider. All right, so overall, I feel like these are very comparable. I would recommend both of these to anybody, just really depends on your living situation. I feel like if you don't have a lot of room and you don't have counter space for this, I would recommend using this. I feel like as we saw, it was very comparable and it did yield a lot of juice. If you are going to juice harder fruits and vegetables every day, like if you're going to do carrots every day and ginger, things that are going to be a lot harder, I might recommend more this because this is going to handle those hearty fruits and vegetables so much easier. And I feel like if you are juicing every day, as far as cleaning goes, this is going to be easier. So to wrap it up, it really depends on you and what situation you are in and your kitchen is in. But this AMZ Chef is more of my go-to at home juicer. But when we are on the go, I would definitely take this and not feel bad about missing out on any juice or yield or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below for both of these juicers so you can go check them out yourself. If you found this comparison useful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, bye.